another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness. And a couple things I want to say off the bat. Um, I know this is a French campaign, and I know I should be saying a little bit more French words, and I know I should know a little bit more French, but... Yeah. I have no reply to that, but... Yeah. I have nothing really... Yeah. There's nothing really much to say except that the American Civil War is going on, and... I'm honestly pretty worried about the United States and the usefulness in the future, because... In total, they have 10 armies. They have a unit of 10. While the CSA should only have a unit of 1, but has a unit of 19. So, you know, it kind of looks like the CSA will win. Which, I bet you, none of us expected. Alright. And, there was a train of thought going there, but I kind of lost it, so I'll get back to you guys. Alright, but anyways, French, French election, Zindoism. Alright, next we're going to move over to here. We're going to move our soldiers down to there. <clears throat> and personal discovery, something, 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 oh, at the dark side. <laughs> Alright. And let's keep the faith. Pluralism. Yeah. See, the reason, oh, I remember now. I was thinking that maybe I should end my alliance with, like, uh, the United States. Only because they're just like, okay, probably. By the way, I'm also going to get all my, like, alliances I should be getting from, like, all my vassals. Because this makes me look like a much more incredible and powerful ally. If I have all these alliances. And, dang it. I need to do something sweet. I need to ban the, uh, the uh, Russian embassy. Because they're getting a little bit high there. But, yeah, I was thinking of, like, disaligning myself with the Americans, even though they technically are the fourth biggest power, and the two, and the two and the four biggest powers should be, like, united. Mostly, they are big because of their, of their prestige, not because of their military. And if we were going to go against somebody like Prushka, we need somebody about equal military with them. Because this would be a hard fight for anyone, and for you guys, okay. Ban Embassy of the Russians. Jinduism. Yay. Well, actually, they're not doing anything right now. So, you know, if they, were if they were increasing points right now, then I would ban them. But they're doing nothing. And so, you know, it's just kind of going to happen. And so, because, honestly, so, yeah, I'll see. I'm giving them until 1965. If they don't have this sorted out or you know, worked out, and they don't reunite, then I'm just going to break out the alliance. My other, and if they don't, also, I'm just going to add to this, if they do not, if they let the CSA win, and do not recover their massive military, then I'll also break out the alliance, because otherwise the USA is kind of useless to me in my demands for the, for the universe. Alright, war between Spain and Egypt. New patient, the USA expands, the Austrians fears are coming. Tensions dissipate. Oh, there was a crisis? Really? <gasps> oh, finally! Finally, some kind of crisis is being brewed up. You know, I think this is probably the first crisis we've had all, all like, Let's Play. I mean, <laughs> it may not be that big, but dang, it's the first one we have, so, hmm. So, yeah, if we were thinking about getting an alliance with uh, Austria... <laughs> I don't think we should do it anymore. And we should probably get this. Army decision making. Because I plan... Mm, I'm getting a little bit worried about the Pushkins right now. They have not done anything this entire year. And what? What is going on with Austria and... <gasps> oh my goodness. No way. No way. You, I, 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 no way. <sighs> oh, this is awesome. This is great. Alright, we have to do it. We have to do it. And... For those of you guys who don't know what this means, it means that the plan for killing, for destroying the Germans, that, that they will never destroy us, is finally in place. Because since the Germans are going to be fighting both the Austrians, they're going to all they're going to have the army tied down there, so we can come in as France and destroy the rest of them. So that's what we're going to do: get the left bank decision, left bank crisis, and go into here, declare war. Um, I'm going to. Should I pull in any other ally? <sighs> It would make Reichland really easy to not get conquered, but 
Like, wow, a lot of my allies will say very likely. You know what? I'm coming in. We're just gonna do it. Just call on my allies and see what happens. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not thinking America will join in. The treacherous, not surprised, treacherous, not surprised, treacherous, not surprised, not surprised, not surprised. Yes, America joined in, and Sweden joined in as well. And now we have an entire force ready to go kill these guys. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, like I was saying, people, uh, the Germans are like doing different things, and you do doing things I don't really like. So what I just I decided to do was just in case that they like try to uh, attack someone that would be really powerful, like the Russians or the Austrians. I would go in and go try to take as much as I can. And right now my plan has worked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go send our entire army to go in there. Um, we're gonna start mass producing army like heck, like hectic. Okay, do that. Um, I am not an orientant. What is with that? Okay, and we're going to switch to the Bonapartes now, because the Bonapartes really have what we want in our economy and our reforms. Um, that way, well, first of all, that way we can also, like, gain our military. We're also going to tax our military to the utmost, but we have enough military right now so that we can, like, relax. Okay, next thing to do. We have to plan our little invasion. We want to claim as much land as we can. I'm going to keep these guys right here, you know, to... Ah, oh, dang, I should have, I like, extended my forts down here. Alright, I'm gonna keep these like two men right here because uh, the uh, Germans have a pretty big force, and I don't want to personally deal with that. Um, I'm gonna move these guys right here, and that should be, yeah, that should be good enough to where we can defend our land, just in case. Ah, dang it, the Germans, Germans. Oh wait, but wait, the French Empress, the Empress, which so I think I gained, I think I just gained that Bonaparte flower thing, and I'm destroying these guys right over here. With the help of the Austrians. The Austrians, I love you guys. I think they... Sh yeah, I think the Austrians just, like, majorly helped us out with the battle. Okay? And now, I'm having a little bit of difficulty with my men down there. And now, since they moved their army from this place... No. No, we're gonna go right here, then we're gonna go right here, then we're gonna go right there. Alright? Completely bypass that other army. Otherwise, we will die. Ah, oh, dang it! Okay? Our army's dying pretty quickly. That isn't good. But, we're about to, yeah, okay, we even the scores with that army. Uh, we're gonna go right here, then we're gonna go right there. Uh, no, wait, 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 go right here, then go right here, then go right there. Okay, next, since now we have this conquered, we're gonna go down here. We need to kind of hold them off a little bit, because now this is becoming a major battle, and we need to kind of, ooh, ooh, now they're sending everything they have into that battle, we're sending everything we have in that battle, and... How much are we mobilizing? 15%. And uh, do we have anything going wrong? Uh, wrong. Oh, we're at war with the Ottomans. Shoot. Okay. Go right here. <laughs> go right here. Uh, go right here. Mm. Okay, how are the Americans holding up? Probably not good because they have to deal with all of Canada. And right now Canada is a little bit more powerful than them. Oh, man. This is... This is going to be tricky. I'm, I'm just going to leave that out right now. This is going to be very tricky. And... Sweden, oh yeah, Sweden's in the war too, so they should be able to help us out a little bit. Um, we also have a decent, ah, dang it. I was hoping to get this. Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll keep one soldier here. The rest of you guys, go help our soldiers. Quickly, quickly. Let's go, yes! Okay, and I'm a little bit worried that they still would not win. So I'm going to go send this army... And this army, which I think are just full reserves to go help us out. <sighs> Man, that army has now become that big gigantic army that we cannot lose. And they're losing a lot more. They're losing about as much soldiers as we are losing. So that's good. Ryland. And it seems like the war for... Uh, what was it? The war for uh, independence. No, the, the Prussian-Austrian war is still going on. So I wonder why... I guess they just retreated because they knew how awesome we were. <laughs> okay, and we got 71 French troops here. A lot of them damaged. I'm going to move... No. Move some of them to here. And we almost got a solid line here built up against the kind of German army. We have a little bit of problems right there, but I doubt they're going to send in many troops to go help that battle. That battle is kind of hopeless. And we got a quick French assault right there and right there. Okay. All you guys, just stay behind the lines, kind of refuel your lines. Uh, 
Actually, you know, we might actually combine these guys, because these guys might actually be helpful. And it seems like our armies are slowly starting to come into existence. Um, we, I think we have a Turkish force trying to attack us. No, that's in... Oh, that's in over there. Uh, no, wait, that's Egypt! That's Egypt! Wow! Egypt actually mounted an invasion against Spain. That's really quite fascinating. Okay. Let's get all these guys combined. Divide them up evenly. Okay. We'll send some of them to go... To go help crush these guys to make sure that... You know, they think that they cannot win. Because we want to give the impression that these guys... No matter how much they fight back against us, will not be able to pull out a victory. And Luxembourg's already asking for peace. I'll accept it. Because Luxembourg's not a crucial ally, I would say. Okay, we need to go down here, take out Stonenstein. So we get this little province right here. Um, then start moving up this way. We're going to start hitting... Yeah, we're just going to start hitting them and making sure they stay weak. Because right now we have the advantage and we should press it. Okay, because right now the Aus once the like Austrians come back, or once the Austrians and the Prussians make peace, then it's basically all bets are off. Because I'm not sure if our army will be able to take down a fully or a fully weakened Prussian army. I mean, it's it's very likely we could. I'm not going to deny that, but you know, the past has proven that the, the French versus the Germans we don't have a winning record. <laughs> Let me just leave it like that. With the past, we just don't have a winning record with these guys. Oh, we should probably, like, destroy all these little states, too. Because we don't want them to come back and try to haunt us. Okay. Preska is also helping us out with all these, like, cool landings. We're helping them out just a little bit by, like, conquering all this part of France. And, uh, conquering all that part of France. I mean, oh, man. We could, we could potentially, like, gain a lot of territory from this. Or at least gain that little part I want. Which is good. And did they make peace? No, they're still fighting it. And we're winning this war by a lot. That, which is good. Which is what I wanted to do. I think we've already... I think in just a couple moves that we've just done. I think we crippled the... Uh, the... Uh, what is it called? Army of the Prussians. That's what I meant to say. Okay, because they already... I think the army is already like overwhelmed from both me and the... Uh, Ooh, and the, uh, what? Austrians, man, I cannot think when I'm, like, trying to, like, conquer major land, and these guys are, like, trying to reconquer land, I'm gonna go send my reserved army to go in there, my reserved army is actually not that strong, which I just realized that when I deployed them, but they should be strong enough to take down 8,000, uh, British troops, no, not British, Prussian troops, speaking of which, where are the British, I thought they would have done, like, an arm, like an armed uh, landing now. Okay. We have almost the entire... You know, I better keep diplomatic map mode on. Because I won't know which ones are my friends and which ones are my allies. Okay. So we have uh, potentially... We almost have this entire place. An old tired sailor. Sir, I was a boy for all my life. I've marched up and down, back and forth. I've marched with the firm conviction that I would die young in service of the country, that I would hold dearer than any other under the sun. Yet now, when my life draws to more peaceful ends, I cannot help but notice that I am old. While life expectancies in France are decidedly on the increase, the unfortunate interaction between a relatively low wage and uh, an equality low pensions means that very few people can afford to make preparations for old age when they are no longer capable of working. The educated middle class would prefer to see a raise in the minimum wage, while the autocracy argues in favor of raising pensions. Uh, I concur with the good sirs, or I concur with the honorable, I prefer no reform at all. I concur with the, with the pension, with that. Because healthcare, no. I'll give up to the autocracy, because the autocracy does never lead me wrong. Um, the other guys... I can't tell you how many times I've had problems with them. Okay. Okay, we have them. We have those guys being crushed over there. Uh, oh my goodness. Really? Okay, so they did not join in on this war. So we can just, yeah. I was I was hoping Hamburg would join in on this war. So maybe we'd get, maybe we'd have a little bit of fun crushing Hamburgers. <laughs> Hamburgers. Hamburgers Army. Hamburgs Army. And yes, I know, I know I pronounce it, but sometimes I mess it up. And it seems like 
Oh, seems like the Belgians actually took care of this. So let's destroy this. Let's help destroy this army to make it so that no other they will never come back and taunt us or kill us or do anything like that. No revenge for you. Okay, and they want out of the war. I'll grant them amnesty because they're basically gone. You guys go right here and let's crush this army. Oh wait, that they're not in the war. Okay, who is the war? Okay, go right here then. We're just gonna. And we have a straight, I'm pretty sure we got a straight shot to Berlin. Berlin. Because they're already, basically the Austrians are already there. And we already crushed the entire, like, left flank. They're all gone over here. Okay, and apparently these guys are also out of the war. So we're going to move down to Wilhelm. Or whoever's next. This way, I guess. And how are we doing on diplomatically? We are almost there. We're almost there in our quick Blitzkrieg. This is, this is the French version of a Brick's League. We take as much as we want, as quickly as we want. I mean, it's all, well, it's actually not that quick, technically. I think we started this war, like, a couple years ago, but, I don't know. I'm still gonna call it the Blitz Creek. <laughs> uh, yeah. Inside jokes. They get you every time. Okay, we're gonna move over to these guys. Move over to here. Alright, you guys, move over to Brunswick. We need to take down Brunswick next. Uh, is everyone, okay, we got a lot of little states piecing out. Peace, white peace. Little state right here, peace, white peace. Little state right here, peace, white peace. I mean, we're slowly starting to thin out this gigantic army. And the Prussians are losing badly. I saw that coming. But it seems like I'm winning enough to where they don't seem to mind. Alright. Ah, dang it, I wanted to get Belgium. I mean, Berlin. Berlin would have been the last... Wait, I could probably still get it if I, like... If I'm, like, the leading power there. Mm. Okay. And how many more states do we have left under... Under stupid control? Okay, you guys go right here. Man. Yeah, we've almost defeated all of Germany's, like, mini little vassal states. And is anyone invading me from behind? And how are we doing in the Ottoman territory? That's actually a good question. We we conquered a much. Okay, go down here. Go down here. Okay. Yeah, the Ottomans, I'm not... The Ottomans army, I'm not worried about. They will fall. <laughs> Just plainly put, they will fall. Okay. Now I'm going to see if I can use mass amount of troops to, like, gain control of this siege. So that we can be the ones to, uh... To declare war. And we have lots of lit taunts. I'm going to start opening them. I won't read them. Because we just need to get through these. And war between Russia and Austria. Prussia and Austria. Yeah. <sighs> this has been an exciting, like, week for them. Okay, Brunswick is now out of the war. Uh. And the Jacobson rebels are in the war. Wait a minute. Can I? Wait a minute. Hmm. I just realized. Can I even get my truth back to, uh. Oh, shoot. A uh, Hamburg? Uh, would you mind giving me military access? They would accept. Okay, good. That way, when we need to, we can get out of here. We can get our soldiers out of here and be able to do things. And it seems like the Jacobson rebels have decided at this moment it'd be perfect to go attack me and just try to destroy my army. Which, you know, would have been smart if I didn't have all my army mobilized. Duh, Jacobsons. Gosh, these guys just... I feel like they're not even trying as a rebel group. They're just... They're just dying, honestly. Just just, just dying. Okay, proceed. Fine. Alright, you guys are out of the war. It means even less. Let's go get this state over here. Okay. And the Pushkins tried to raise an army in their own capital, and it failed. We have that... We have, Bern, we have Berlin conquered. Ah, dang it, it didn't let me. It didn't let me. Alright, well, I'm, I'm just going to spread my army out. Go right here. Okay, you guys go right here. You guys go right here. And you guys go right here. And Brunswick. Proceed. Fine. More people out of the war. Who is still in this war? Like, besides the major powers, which I'm doubting are going to keep in it. Who is still in this war? Hmm. Just a lot of little Germany states, which... I'm slowly just eating and gobbling up. And it seems like... Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. Okay, 
Seems like the Germans just made peace. Um with their allies. As soon as we conquer this city, we'll go send the rest of our army in there to go kick the rest of them out. Hmm. Okay, okay, yeah, cause okay, right there. We'll send the rest of our army in to go see if we can go capture Berlin. And it seems like they already want peace. Peace provide, fine. Alright, the rest of you guys go right here. We gotta start we gotta stop these little German states from like forming gigantic armies. Cause right now we have the advantage and we wanna push it. Okay. And how whew, how much do we need? Okay, would they actually propose peace? They would not accept this offer. But hmm. What about the Ottomans? I've done a little bit of damage to them. They would not accept this offer. What about the Pushkins? Would they accept just a peace? No, I'm gonna still I'm gonna still have to weather them down a little bit more. Ah, dang. Yeah, you see, as long as we keep, as long as we keep our army on these little places where they're trying to create an army, we should be fine. Or at least around where they're trying to create an army, we should be fine. I'm gonna keep these guys right here because we actually need them. All right, and I'll start sending a little bit more troops in because I realize it's gonna take a little bit more. Like, these guys should be enough to, like, tang tangle with, like, Donschnik versions. Like, this army over here. And we have a little idol army right here. Actually, go right here. And, wow. Yeah, they're really trying to raise up an army quick to go fight me. <laughs> it's only, like, I, I feel like it's a little bit too late, though. Because I have already have most of their places captured. And it's not even, like... Okay, you guys stay right here. We want to kind of keep... If we do have to fight a big, gigantic German army, we want to make sure our armies are, like, grouped up together. Um, Hezeberg wants peace. Provide. Find white peace. Yeah, it seems... The Germans just don't have it right now. They're losing a lot of their place. The land, the, the money, the industry. I think I'm destroying some of the industry, which I'm really happy about. Let me see. Russian... Yes! I've destroyed so... A good amount of the industry to now they're about even with us. And I just took their capital. And Prusca wants what I think they want. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Woohoo. And everyone. With that. We now have this little piece of Ryland. Which. Really I don't think was that important. In terms of like. Fruit, grain, coal. Well we did get some coal from it. So. We did weaken them a little bit, and we now have a good little extra border with the uh, Germans, so now we can just like stick all the soldiers right here instead of like right here. And you know what? We weakened them. I mean, their industry is going to take a good amount of time to recover, and we match them in industry now. We're like the second most powerful industry, basically. And with that, I'm going to demobilize, demobilize, uh, start sending back all my troops. Send them all back to different places. Uh, recover my industry. Ah, dang it. Did I get the Bonapards in power? Well, we can close down the lumber mill. The lumber mill won't help us. Uh, the can factory actually could help us. Is there anything for the can factory? No. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's only one closed. It's not going to be that big of a deal. And let me see. The money I racked up. Ah, not as bad as I usually do. Okay, and we can stop, we can stop as much spending as we usually do on military. Uh, but we will tax the poor a lot more. Because taxing the poor is what you do. And I'll tax the rich a little bit too. But anyways, with that, that was a great war for, for France. We instantly just like became the cool great power. And war between Mexico and CSA. Oh, CS, wait a minute, did the... Oh no, don't tell me. Did you like... Yep. Okay, well that ended on a bad note. So, next episode, it seems like I will be ending my alliance with America. And... Next episode, I am shocked to know that the Prushkins also took a little bit of Prushka. Well, I took a little bit of Prushka, so I guess it's fair. And anyways, I guess I'll see you guys next time.